Hello dear students, today we will discuss introduction to turbulent flow in pipes. So let's start. So turbulent flow in the pipes. In a turbulent flow, motion is irregular and chaotic in nature. There is complete mixing of fluid due to the collision of fluid masses with one another. The fluid masses are interchanged between the adjacent layers. As the fluid masses in the adjacent layer have a different velocities, the interchange of the fluid masses between the adjacent layers is accompanied by a transfer of momentum, which causes additional shear stress between the adjacent layers. So let's talk about few characteristics of a turbulent flow. So here I am the one figure. So this green ink represent laminar flow which is parabolic in nature and red one is turbulent flow which is logarithmic and sometimes it is it is uh, it can follow power law also. So velocity distribution in the turbulent flow is more uniform than the laminar flow. So if you observe this red and blue, green velocity profile, you can easily understand as compared to laminar flow, turbulent flow is more uniform near the walls also and near the center line. In the turbulent flow, the velocity gradients near the boundary shall be quite large, resulting in more shear stress. So near the boundaries in these two sections, shear stress is more as compared to laminar flow. Hence, the velocity gradient is also large. Velocity distribution follows power law or logarithmic law for laminar flow. Random orientation of fluid particles in a turbulent flow gives rise to a additional stress which is called Reynolds stress. Next one, formation of eddies, mixing and curving of path lines in a turbulent flow result in much greater frictional losses for the same rate of discharge viscosity and pipe size so if you observe these three you know figure so initially what happened if you observe the velocity at first it's not streamlined they try to mass transfer takes place between the two adjacent layers due to that curving of part occurs and mixing of the two adjacent layers occurs and finally you will get a ED formation here look at here which is one of the main characteristic of a turbulent flow as you know in the turbulent flow major losses occurs due to friction and this friction loss can be derived by darcy wesbeck this darcy this is called darcy wesbeck equation that is come under major losses in pipes so here sf is equal to 4f l v square divided by d into 2g where hf losses of head due to friction l length of the pipe d diameter of the pipe v average flow velocity small f 
Darcy coefficient of friction. This Darcy coefficient of friction, here you will get another terminology called friction cofactor friction factor f1 is equal to 4 coefficient of friction. You can replace this Darcy Weisbeck equation by using f1 also. Then equation became hf is equal to f1 l v squared d into 2g. Another two important parameter relationship relationship between coefficient of friction and Reynolds number. Coefficient of friction is equal to 0 0.0791 divided by Reynolds number to the power 1 by 4 that is for turbulent flow and coefficient of friction is equal to 16 by Reynolds number that is for turbulent flow this is for laminar flow so this particular equation is very essential to understand turbulent flow I hope you understand the introduction of turbulent flow in the pipe in the next class we try to derive Darcy Weisbeck equation thank you stay safe